welcome back to season three of Car Rants. We're finally back. It's been a while, and since I'm starting school, I decided to film lots of footage beforehand. We have multiple special guests here. that will come and go. As uh, Justin had a baby, so he's yes. not here right now. Hey, Justin. Baby. First topics are right, we want to talk about <laughs> about <laughs> suddenly just split it. In half. <laughs> We're going to talk about manual cars because I daily a manual. You own both an automatic and a manual, and you daily an automatic. Oh so, man, nice wide range. I know, we have the variety. <laughs> How do you guys feel about dealing a manual? Would you do it? I would do it. You would do it? I'd do it. I might do it. I think it depends on the drive. Okay. That too. If you have a drive into work that's in the city, yeah. forget mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. yeah. But my job, my job now, like I just started a new job, <laughs> is like right up 295. I would daily manual because like you just, you just like romp it in the sixth gear and then you can just cruise like it's an automatic, your yep. foot doesn't get tired, and then you go around the on and off ramps and it's like rah, 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 rah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fun. Too. Yeah. The the ramps are the best. Mm -hmm. Literally. Um, and I think it also depends on what kind of car you have. Also true. Because if you have something with like a stage three clutch <laughs> and it's like a man clutch. <laughs> like like that one. Like this. <laughs> or something like a, like a like a Hellcat or something with like a super heavy duty like drag racing clutch yeah, or something like that. Super yeah. That um that would be difficult to daily drive just because like you'd be like oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Or like a single clutch of Ventador, but that's not a manual, but you know. <laughs> the jerkiness. <laughs> yeah. The most jerky single clutch. Yeah. It's the least smooth transmission. Oh. That could a Murano Cabriolet? Dude, I saw a Land Rover Evoke convertible. Oh, uh, that's that worse. Uh, city. Yeah, that is worse. Uh, At least they didn't make the Juca convertible. Oh, like, oh, oh no, I don't. No. <laughs> didn't they put a GTR engine in one of those? Yeah, they did. Yeah. And like five of them. That's so horrible. Yeah, they're actually really free. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> they're they're, really sure they're valuable, too. Really yeah. Valuable. yeah. Hmm. So, um, kind of obviously, the manual is dying. I know, and it's sad. So basically, all the new fast cars you can get are automatics. I think. I know. Yeah. I mean, look at the top of the Challenger lineup now. You cannot get a Hellcat Red Eye with stick shift. No. You can't handle that power. Dude. No. Yeah. And, and I wonder if that's part of it. Like, can they not make a manual transmission that handles the power? I don't know if that's like a lot of Reliably. That's it's not like, a big one. Like, drag racers, they use manuals with like over a thousand horsepower. Yeah, but then is. That's like a power glide. Is, yeah, is the yeah. transmission then. It, can you then drive it normally? Yeah, it's really built shitty. for. Drag racing, you know? Yeah, because the TR6060, which is in the Challenger, mm -hmm. is rated for 650 foot pounds of torque. The Hellcat makes like 650 foot I know, that's right on It is rated for yeah. <laughs> You can't go any higher. And that's the Hellcat, so that makes 717 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque. The Red Eye makes like, what, seven something, like 707 seven in torque? Like, I'm not yeah, sure. Something like that in torque. So it would blow up. Mm -hmm. And like, Warranties exist, so Chrysler yeah, would benefit from warranty. Like <laughs> manual transmissions are expensive too. Yeah, like they're not as cheap as they used to be. Yeah, but I mean, I think they're still cheaper than automatics. They're still they? cheaper than automatics, but like no one's doing R and D to build a new manual. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah. Like that's true. they don't it's perform as well. In them they they don't uh, get as good a fuel economy. Right now, it's only there for the enthusiast market. Literally, it's only there for people Me. who are <laughs> purists and are like, yeah. I must drive a manual. I for the for the fun. Manual. But then what about what about uh, well then I guess we could still talk about you know it's cheaper. It's like for example like uh, like the economy jeeps or something where they still have manuals. Yeah, uh, I mean they have they have manuals. Are so they awful. have roll down yeah. windows. I mean for any of you viewers who are driven a JL. Wrangler stick shift. <laughs> it is one of the worst clutch feelings I think I've ever. You press the pedal and it falls to the floor. There's no, yeah. there's See, no like feedback the at that the point. Then yeah. it's not even worth it. No. You have to shift and it's not fun. It's just so, dumb. Yeah. And and it's yeah. it's jerky and the shifter is like sloppy and horrible. I mean, uh, it could be the horsepower limiting factor. Why new cars aren't getting it? I also think because the faster you get, the more performance you lose with a manual. Yes. Because yeah. Because I mean, true. especially with high performance cars, there's only, I think, one car you can get right now, one mid engine car you can get with a manual. And it's a Lotus, I think. Lotus no, the Evora. Uh, Evora, yeah. Because yeah. that's just a Camry with a turbo. Well, the so, engine. Yeah. It's really not that fast. Yeah, no, because I mean, how much they're power all does that make? It yeah. makes like 300 some yeah. horsepower. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you can make a manual to ha handle it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's just sad, though, because that'd be so cool. Yeah. yeah. Mid engine manual. The rare I feel like in the, I feel like what the most powerful right now from the factory is probably a Hellcat with a manual. Yeah, that I know of. 
right? Yeah, unless there's like some sort of Audi. They're, Audi they're, doesn't they're do all dual clutch. Yeah, 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 they're pretty much all dual clutch. All of them. V dubs, they're all yeah. dual clutch. All the V dubs. And it's strange <laughs> because you go back 20 years. All the supercars had manuals. Had manuals, yeah. Yeah, that was the faster option. Ferrari. The automatic. Koenigsegg. Like, there yet. Yeah. Koenigsegg used to have a manual. That's so cool. So I think the only reason I'd get a CCF. A lot of it <laughs> changed when the ZF8 speed came out. Literally. What transmission is that? One that's in my car. It's it's oh, in really? it's in almost everything. <laughs> yeah. It's a German transmission. Aston Martin. You can get a ZF8 speed in a Grand Cherokee. Yeah. You can get a ZF speed. A ZF8 <laughs> speed in an S Class Mercedes. Yeah. It's. Daimler. All across the <laughs> they have it, then Mercedes technology goes into like Aston Martin, like a bunch of other. Yeah, yeah so other it is things. it is everywhere. And everyone was like, man, this transmission is getting such good fuel economy because you have so many different ratios yeah. and it has a brain, so it figures out which ratio works. Yeah, best. and it shifts really fast. Dude, the computers yeah, are smart for, for a single clutch. For a torque converter automatic, yeah, right? it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty I mean, good. like if they put them in Ram trucks for crying out yeah, and yeah. they just tune it the way they want it. So, so I mean, now you got people coming out with ten speed yeah, transmissions, now we have the 10 speeds. Yeah. more speeds. You Shutting can't have. Forward. No one wants to shift ten times. No, yes. no. you can't have a ten speed man. No, the Corvettes have seven speed. Yeah, yeah I even mean, that's quite. Cool. That's yeah. like with three overdrives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, no one really wants. Them. How often are you gonna use seventh gear? Or maybe I should be in sixth gear. <laughs> like, like no one's thinking about that. You're just thinking about on the highway. It's like. <laughs> You're, you gotta be like on the Autobahn doing like 150. Yeah. Oh, yeah. seventh gear! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I finally get it. I did it! <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the, the development in automatics and just how sophisticated and, and brainy they've become, I think, is Yeah, really it's just the technology. Yeah. Definitely. For yeah. fuel economy, for speed, performance, you go with the automatic. Yeah. Oh, Farmer Tom has arrived. <laughs> Farmer Tom pulling up in his five-speed manual. We fixed the manual. water leak the other day, me and him. He had a water leak? <laughs> oh, it was awful. We put the garden I, hose on top of it, and it was just pouring in the back. Oh. Doesn't he need, like, a new radiator or something? I don't know if he fixed that yet. Anyway, um, before he walks in, this is Farmer Tom, who you've seen from the Jeep video. So go watch Yeah, I think it's so cool. Tom, join our rant! Wait, that thing's manual, right? Yes, yeah, five oh, There we go. They got another daily. Uh, yeah, daily he just manual. got it. This is his first daily manual. Right? So, yeah. We're talking about manuals. Really? We are. Yeah. Gracie will probably put some kind of cool graphic in where you sit down and your face blows up or something. <laughs> Gracie likes putting explosions in. It's or filters. Hard. I like the filters. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we need to get mad about stuff so we can do that. <laughs> but yeah, we're so, talking uh, about how manuals are no longer a thing in performance cars. Um, and now they're just a base option on slow cars. Yeah, oh, it's, it's more of an option now. You have to ask for it. Otherwise, yeah. all the dealers just have automatic. Yeah. yeah. No, it's... That's the other thing Zach was telling me. If you wanted a stick shift pickup truck, you had to call Chevrolet and get it special yes. ordered, and you could get zero options. He was it. telling me about Probably. it. Probably. Go zero. watch Zach. I'd like Chevy like pickup. No radio. Like roll up windows, no carpet, like, <laughs> there's like nothing. No, no carpet. If you want the manual, do you, you pay the no. price. <laughs> Power windows, that's yeah. right. Oh, man. Yeah. Which I just fixed. Oh, they were broken? Well, oh, oh, was one side. Broken? The passenger okay. side didn't want to go up, and the um, 97 through L1 XJs, just for you guys, they're notorious for the power window switch. Um, the, ma the master, uh -huh. right? The uh, the child safety lock will kind of mess up. Oh no, just so here's a question: Do you think manuals are more fun in normal everyday cars like mine, or in like crazy supercars? Both. You can get a manual. Mm. 